Hey guys, welcome back to Art of the Cart, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a chihuahua in four easy steps. So I'm going to go ahead and block in this chihuahua with um, just some basic shapes. I do this with all of the things that I draw. It just helps me make sure that everything is in the place that it needs to be. So I have my circle for the head, and then about the same size circle for the chest. And you'll see, again, especially if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll notice that these building up circles are not something that I'm doing like a precision line. I'm going run, 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 till I get just the right shape and I have it just at the right angle that I want, because um, I'm gonna be erasing these lines anyway. So probably a really important thing to do is also to remember to draw really lightly so that you can erase. I'm not pushing a lot of pressure onto this. I'm just very lightly just sketching these in. I'm gonna put in this little back little rump area right there. And what I'm doing is I'm just building up the shape there of my little dog. Now what I had it did is put in the cross for the face and this line here, this uh, vertical line, is the line that goes from the top of the forehead all the way down between the eyes and along the snout. It divides the face up, it lets me know in what direction he's looking. And this line, the horizontal line here, lets me know the eye line, so this goes across and it lets me know if he's looking straight on or if he has his head tilted. And this one I'm going to have a little bit of a tilt to his cute little head. So I put a little bit of a, almost looks more like an X than a cross, so a little plus sign. And then for his legs, I'm just going to place them down with some just lines, just so I can make sure everything's kind of where it needs to be before I get into some good detail in here. And I'm going to put his little tail coming up like that and just block in his ears. Alright, so right now this could be a lot of things. It could be a, a dog, it could be a cat, it could be a lot of things. <laughs> it doesn't look like much right now. But now we're going to start getting into some of the details. So this is where you want to make sure everything is in the place that you like it um, and that this is the time to move or to change things. If I want this leg to be changed just a little bit, I can do that. Um, but now I'm liking how everything's positioned right now. So now we're going to do is move to step two, which is to flesh out our drawing. So at this point, I'm looking at my reference photos and following the anatomy I know about with, with dogs and just creating the mass for what their bone and muscle structure would be. So like at the top of the legs, I know they're a lot thicker and then as they come down, Along the back side, they thin out quite a little bit there. So I'm just getting all that mass in there. As you get to this point, you'll begin to see places you need to make corrections. So I had my head circle up just a little too high, so I'm bringing that down just a bit. And one thing I don't do is I don't generally erase the bad line first. I'll put the good line in before I take the bad line out. The reason is, is that a lot of times artists will make a line, realize it's wrong, erase it, and then redraw the same line again. I see that time and time and time again, especially when I watch speed drawings of people and they, they make a line and they erase it, then they just draw back the same line. Now that's because your eye and hand have already made that connection for that line, so it's really hard to see past it. But if I already know this line is bad, I don't like this line, if I can draw in what I think might be the correct line, then I know I'm not going to trace that line. I'm going to make my new line. Then I can go back with an eraser and erase those lines later. I just found that helped me. This is a good time now also to, to block in where you want the facial features. So I'm going to put the eyes and for a chihuahua, the eyes are kind of a little bit far set apart. So I'm going to kind of push them to the outer sides and then his little snout right there. His little mouth and stuff like this. This is also the point of the drawing you're wanting to decide, is your chihuahua a long hair or short hair chihuahua? And I looked at several different pictures, and I absolutely love a long haired chihuahua. My neighbor has a, a dog very similar, I don't know if it's a purebred chihuahua, but very cute. And uh, so I'm going to make it a, a long haired chihuahua, so I'm just going to begin to now place in my jagged lines of where the hair would be. Again, I'm not worried about erasing this right yet.
my two first steps completed. I have step one, which is laying your shapes. Now step two is to flush it out. So everything's flushed out and I've got the hair, I've got everything in there. Step three is to clean up your drawing. You can use a regular pencil, a gummy eraser if you want. Because I've drawn really, really lightly, it'll come up very easily no matter what I use. If you find that you're having a hard time erasing your lines, yeah, you need to work and practice on drawing softer, drawing with a lighter hand. Once you've erased your lines, you're going to kind of see some spots that are, you know, missing and you're just going to want to go back in and just add up your cleaned up lines. With your cleaned up lines, this is the time you want to take um, extra time to make those lines exactly the way you want them to be now. Now you're going in for the detail. Distinguishing features that Chihuahua have is their um, pronounced skull ridges around their eye socket, which give them that appearance of kind of that bugged out eye look. So you just want to kind of, as you're adding in your shadow, just really emphasize kind of that, that ridge up around the eyes. By adding a little bit of shadowing around that, it's just really going to help to um, distinguish them a little bit. Remember with your shadowing and shading, that's gonna, anywhere you add some color or darkness into there is gonna push things back and where there's highlight is gonna pull things forward. So now we're moving into the final step, which is to add details and shading, shadowing. And this is the part where you can go as detailed as you want. The more time you spend adding in these details, um, I feel the, the more realistic the picture becomes just by you know, really putting in the time and the effort. Um, and don't be you know, afraid to take breaks if you need to, keep hydrated, all that good stuff, but don't give up. There's always a point in almost every single drawing that I do that I want to give up, that I'm like, yeah, this isn't working. Even in this drawing, um, very close at one point to turning off the camera and going, yeah, this dog is not looking right. Just don't give up. And a lot of times I find that I'm able to fix it, whatever it is that's not working for me, and uh, make it work or at least get something that I'm happy with and really learn a lot from the drawing, but you have to be persistent. So here I have my finished product of my little kind of dog sketch. Um, so yeah, I think he's pretty cute. Whether you're creating your picture from your head or looking at a photo, um, just remember to just take your time, have fun with that, and don't be afraid of making mistakes. 
when you break your drawing down into smaller steps, it's easier to see how this process works. How do you get this finished picture? And this process works not just on dogs, you can use it on anything. If you end up drawing this chihuahua, I'd love to see it. So make sure to post those pictures to my Facebook page and Instagram. And who knows, they might even end up in next month's Artist Showcase. Thank you for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this episode, let me know by leaving it a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. I really enjoy them and it really helps me know what kind of themed videos to go with um, by how many people commented or how many people thumbs it up. So if there's videos in the past that, that I've done that you really enjoyed and you'd like me to do more of them, just go ahead and spam it with that thumbs up button and uh, who knows, I might make some more. So I do have a cat video coming up probably in the next week or so and a lot of other fun things planned. So thanks again for joining me and until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.